Hello! Welcome to the channel! Today we're gonna try three cheap eateries in Budapest. Some is gonna be Hungarian food, some is gonna be some street food, and I am already so hungry. So follow us on an amazing journey to find some of the best budget-friendly food in Budapest. So most of these places we're gonna visit today is very, very close to each other and very close to the central station, New Gatipayodva. So if you're very hungry and uh, wanna try all these places, you can walk to each of them within 15 minutes. So it's, it's very simple. Now we're gonna try something called Cirque Chibis, a very, very old uh, business that was started in 1992. Let's check it out. As you can see, it's filled with people outside standing in line. So we have to wait and uh, it's just around one right now. So everybody's going out to get some lunch. Uh, luckily, there's two other places and we're going to try this later on. So here we are in one of the most busy places in Budapest. And over there, Misi Papa kitchen. That's where we're going whenever we can cross over. There's a lot of cars here. There are like a lot of lanes going on across each other, bridge, everything. Yeah, it's very busy here, but of course you can get some good food. I hope there's gonna be a table for us. All these places are very filled with people today because, you know, working class people, they have to get out and get their food somehow. And there's some very good cheap eats around here. So behind me, Misi Papa. It's one of the old uh, eateries here in Budapest. All the prices in there are reasonable prices. You can get the daily menu for 2,000 forints, which is not that much. It's around six euros or something. And um, right now, there's a lot of people. We're waiting to get a seat. It also shows how popular all of these, uh, you know, eateries here in Budapest are, where local people go. And it also smells delicious here on the street. You can. Every day there's a daily menu. Today it's some kind of soup and some roasted chicken, some roasted chicken with um, fries. And it's it's good fries. Let's try the soup. It's very very good. Very good broth. Good. There's some peas in. A lot of taste. Mm. Cauliflower, carrots. It's very very delicious. All oh, this is only two thousand forints. Good friends. Mm. Here you get a very big chicken thigh. You get some fries, very basic stuff. But I mean, if you kind of have lunch and uh, you just after work or in the meantime, you can go here for like two thousand forints. It's good. okay. Fries. They could use some salt, some ketchup maybe. Let's try the chicken. Mm. It's a classic thick chicken thigh. It's um, everything here is good. I would say the price, everything. It's a very authentic place. Also, it's this place is 30 years old. Wow! I give this let's say seven out of ten. Could use some more flavors here, but compared to that, it's pretty pretty good. By the way, all of these places there will be a link in the description with their address and everything. So if you want to experience it yourself, you should come here. It's very authentic. And they also have a lot of other nice dishes here, like uh, churros, chusa, burkul. We're gonna have that later, so. Missy Papa, more like Missy, mmm. Now we're on our way to uh, the next place. Before we check the chicken place, that's gonna be the last. So you're gonna have to watch the whole video to get to this amazing place. Now we're going to something called Akatsva. Kiste. Nem. Akatsva. It's just called Akatsva, I think. And it's um, in District 7. We are in District 6. And it's this way, party district. And it's also an eatery where a lot of people after and doing work, they go to eat some cheap food. I'm already hungry again. I don't know what's happening these days. In here there's a very nice uh, Mexican restaurant, but it's uh, nearly impossible to get a table. Another time we will try some Mexican food. Anyway, if you're new to this channel, please uh, hit the subscribe button, leave a like and tell us where we should go next in the comments. Uh, there's so much to do here in Budapest, so um, yeah, we can do everything mostly. We are now at District 7, Akatsva Utsa. Akatsva, that's acacia uh, tree. So this street doesn't really have anything to do with acacia trees. Anyway, Akatsva Keste is over here. I don't know what you think, but I think the workers up here who are doing the construction, they get their uh, daily lunch from Akatsva Eat Keste. I would too if I worked here, but otherwise, a very 
rustic place. Akatsva Eatkester. I'm very excited to eat here. They have all the favorites of mine. You know, Pyrkö, Portobaji Palacinto is my favorite, so it's gonna be difficult to choose. Let's go inside, check it out. Old 80s looking place. I'm very excited. If you happen to be a drunk alcoholic here in Budapest, you might know this. Otherwise, this is the cheap Hungarian beer, Kurbanya. Normally, they put them on plastic bottles, like soda water. But um, yeah, I haven't ever tried a Kurbanya, so this is my first time. So um, this is not my favorite, but it's good. It's uh, my girlfriend's favorite dish. It's a madha purkut, Hungarian stew with a uh, beef. Mmm, smell is very good. It is only around 2,000 florins, also, so it's 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 good price. Let's try it. I mean, the flavor is there. It tastes like very very good homemade madha purkut, but it needs a bit more sauce, I think. It needs some more sauce. But that's just my. My uh, senses. Anyway, um, it's, it's pretty good. 2,000 florins, I would say. If you haven't tried the uh, Madapurkut and you're coming to Hungary, you should try it. If you like beef, of course. It's also other versions of it with um, pork also. This is a uh, beef stew that's been cooking for some time with a bit of everything. It's um, it's very very delicious. So if I told you that if you visit Budapest, you can get two cappuccinos and one pancake with Nutella for three euros, you would think I was lying. That's the same one bottle of water in Denmark costs. Nearly. Not as much actually. And uh, here you have a Nutella pancake. They also make it here. Very fresh, you can see the Nutella dropping out. And it is very early. We are filming all this, so having uh, Mata Pürtkürt in the morning, that's a bit, bit, bit tough. But anyway, let's try this Nutella pancake. Mm. You know, Nutella is one of the best things Italy ever brought to the world. Damn, I love Italians. Mostly Nutella, but... Mm. Mm. And finish up with some cappuccino. No, you make some very good food, little fat chef. It was amazing. I mean, it's way too early to have beer. That's why I didn't really drink it. And um, also, good cooked. We should have done this in the evening. Sadly, they are closing at four every day, and I don't think they're open in the weekends. So you have to come here early and have good Hungarian food. I had a lot of different dishes I could eat like uh, pork chops and um, guirsh, different food, great. Finally, I'm hungry again. We are going back to District 6, Nagymetsu Utsa, very close to the first place we came, and I'm very excited. We came like three hours later, and there's still so many people here. This is a 30-year-old place that opened in 1992, the year that the Danish national team won Euros in football. So a good year. That's why they decided to open this place. Not really. As with all like pizza joints and other places, it's very... Um, it makes sense. If you make very good food at a good price, there will always be a lot of people here. And there is now. And there are not so many foreigners, so it's very local. This is the people's favorite here in um, Chirka Chibis. You know, we have to wait in line for like 15, 20 minutes. It's, um, it's a long time. Let's hope it's good. It's just um, some bun, some pickles, and um, yeah, some uh, chicken. That's what they're famous for. Mm. <laughs> it's very simple. It's not a lot of oil, not a lot of anything just chicken bread and everything but the chicken is so early it's um, nacho nacho fino and it's just freshly made i think they cook chicken all day into the night actually it's open so so long into the night so i guess it's also good if you're hungry and you have a bit of hangover which i don't so mm. wow it is absolutely so delicious this is only 1300 florins which is three euros mm. i mean I could eat this every day for, for lunch and then I, I would get very fat, to say the least. I mean, it's getting there. Mm. So today we had soup, it was very good, very very good flavor. Then we had um, some chicken thigh, mm. also good. Then we went over to the other place, the uh, Okatsvi. And we had um, some very nice marha purkul. Too fat for me in the day. 
And after that, we also had some um, very nice chicken, which I'm, I cannot get enough of it. So anyway, this was three budget-friendly um, eateries here in Budapest. You should try if you come and visit it. You can get Hungarian food, you can get some fast food, or actually under four or five euros everywhere. I recommend this. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and become um, a member very soon on our YouTube channel. Join now.